What's up my brothers and my sisters from another mister. So today we're going to do a comic book review of Spawn issue number 340. This is Spawn's worst nightmare. His arch nemesis seizes the throne of hell. Brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. Previously on Spawn, Spawn and Hunt infiltrate heaven and are shocked by what they discover. Meanwhile, Urizen begins to assemble his horsemen. So in heaven, as Spawn and, and Hunt go ham on the on the armies of heaven, we get a little monologue of Penamu. You know, Penamu had received this highest distinction upon graduating by being touted as a possible candidate for squadron leader. And the thing is, when Penamu came of age, he was served in heaven's army, but he was also part of the generation who enlisted right before the dead zones were locked. And so he was never given the chance to taste real combat. For as long as he remembers, he hungered for the moment when he'll be able to prove his mettle. He'll be able to prove that he can handle all this. But though nothing can prepare you for a battle with a hell spawn. As he flies away and spawns chain gang goes through his ankles and drinks his ass down to the ground. Get over here! Spawn is ready for that smoke and that action. Takes off Penamu's mask and tells him, I'll give you an option. Tell me where you hide your weapons to neutralize a hell spawn and where to find the anti dope for Demon's Bane poison or else I'll kill you and then we see this drone looking down on them we don't know if it's what's looking down on them, but something's looking down on them so meanwhile on this panel right here in the wrath of the Tau, the eighth realm carry on a conversation between sin and Barbados Barbados tells sin to forgive him it was such a long time ago that he can't recall exactly who was the first one to try to take sin's throne and it doesn't really matter though because once the first traders came the floodgates were open and plunged into political crisis that took centuries to resolve I mean every Lord with a couple hundred soldiers suddenly felt in bold to stake a claim to that throne and if they still had to worry about warring with heaven he suspects that things may have been different and turned out differently everyone wants the throne of hell and everyone feels entitled to it but guess what it's a free-for-all but the thing is none of them lasted long but at the height of the war there were still a dozen viable contenders. The problem was none had the numbers or support necessary to secure a decisive lasting victory. And that resulted in an arms race with each side scrambling to create a weapon powerful enough to break the deadlock. Eventually, a young Lord named Dialon Gale won as he stands victorious. Now, politically, Dialon Gale was astute, well fortified, he was also smart enough to ally himself with the Stygian necromancers quite early on to solidify his throne. That alliance resulted in the Cataclysm, a new breed of warrior designed to replace the Hellspawns. And Barbados tells Sin, look, I know your symbiote, you know, the first symbiote, which you were, was your pet creation sin, but you have to admit, the Hellspawns are becoming relic as a new warrior like this is long overdue. So Sin's like, and tell me more about this Cataclysm. Cataclysm, all right? So the thing with Cataclysm is many believe he was a simple foot soldier in Dylon's army who volunteered for the Necromancer's experiments. His entry changed the war and helped establish Dylon as the front runner for the throne, but it was never in doubt who was really the driving force. Emerging from their ranks, he also had the advantage of being a greatly admired by many of his enemies that he took on that deal like, you know, you may be the throne now, but I'm coming for that ass. That's what Cataclysm said. Now, when it came time to launch his own thing, he was able to harness the admiration to devastating effect. Sin tells my brother, yeah, I heard about that. Some accounts claim that he slaughtered over 500 Dialine loyals himself, and it's because her powers are from Asidia, right? Not that his powers are from Necroplasm or Necroplasmic. Barbados like, yeah, Cataclysm entire body is infused with obsidia that's one area you may be able to find an opening with the other nine viceroys you'll need a majority if you want to have any hope of success taking over that throne sin and that won't be easy because cataclysm has gifted significant powers to each of the viceroys many of them are enjoying their newfound status sin so you're kind of coming in from the bottom bro and you're gonna be starting from the bottom but you're not gonna go there just like that so sin's like all right man tell me barbados how many soldiers are under your command and Barbados like yeah buddy about 10,000 and you will need every bit of them because you're just gonna need it you know what I mean and also if you're asking me for my help my help here is not just gonna be some foregone conclusion if I'm gonna risk Cataclysm's wrath 
it needs to be worth my while since Barbados and says like mm. and you know he's got that side eye like I don't know I think I want to mess you over but let me see what you have in mind first what do you have in mind and Barbados is like I want to be reinstated as the royal saber with dominion over the second and third realms of hell again and since that's a high price just for 10,000 men I'll need more than that and Barbados like true, but without them, you'll find it difficult to find new recruits. And Sin's like, and tell me, Barbados, what's to stop me from killing you right now and taking your army like it's mine? And Barbados like, in truth, nothing at all. But you have to wonder how that would look to the other eight viceroys. You think they'll take kind to like some kind of kindly overt threats? They won't take kind to that kind of action. It's not a good look. All right. And Sin's like, I accept your request. So, Penamu back in heaven held out from not telling Spawn anything for a while, but he got his first wing ripped off and he didn't want to risk that one, so he gave the information that Spawn demanded. And the building Spawn and Hunt needed to infiltrate is called the Forge, where many of the tools and equipment used by God's army are created and stored. So, they sit back and wait back, and Kurt comes back and he does his recon and tells him it wasn't as bad as he expected. I mean, he thought it was going to be pretty intense security, but I think I got a route we can all take so they go on and do this infiltration mission so Kurt tells them while they're doing their mission is most of the security seems to be stationed outside he took a look inside there's not nearly as many guards in there so once they're inside they still need to get past a few defense systems but that shouldn't be too much trouble they stored the military equipment across six floors the main access points is on the 10th floor the doors to it can only be opened by one of the senior administrators we'll need him to get our hands on one of them and spawn kidnaps one of the senior administrators so they can fulfill their mission so once they open the door they head straight to the storage center there's two guards outside we should be able to deal with them easily enough hunt goes in and deals with them easily enough i estimate we should be able to get in and get out in 20 freaking minutes by the time anyone notices we've been in there we'll be long gone hell to the yeah they grab their administrator do their thing they get into the infirmary and spawn looks at him like all right if you're gonna kill me which weapon of these would you use and this senior minister is like i've seen him use that one they call it the divine judgment it's been used to kill hundreds like you that's all i need to know says spawn now where do you store your antidotes antidote says him we don't keep no antidotes here Han gets pissed because that was the only reason why he went on this freaking mission the where the hell are those antidotes senior minister's like it's not here i swell chemical weapons were stored here but that department moved to purifier citadel spawns like then we need to get moving just leave him huh he's lying i'm not leaving and one of the guards like don't move and he calls for backup to his location immediately haunt takes care of him knocks him out down for the count and spawns like you know we've delayed this shit long enough it's time to go now the senior minister that goes in defends the kingdom's honor but he yeah, yeah it's not gonna happen bro sorry about that maybe the next afterlife so the bullhorn in heaven's throne talks about look attention we're under attack and we all available personnel head to the 10th floor and they dip out and they gotta get out so while spawn hunt and daniel kirk go into the city's outside boundaries rapture wants to know walk him through at how did they breach the facility in the first place could they be spies that were trapped here when the dead zones were closed and this guy is like we can't rule that out but i'll be surprised if someone had been here the entire time without us realizing but we have to apprehend him and see what it's all about additionally this angel tells them this uh robot angel or whatnot that they discover remains of an entire portal that were killed near one of the dead zone sites they believe this is how the intruders arrived in heaven and raptors like are you certain that there was a haunt that was with the hell spawn in heaven and this guy's like yes raptor yes wonderful that that means we've already won send the order to dispatch the teams to each of the dead zone sites tell them this is priority one initiative he has that grin in his face and i don't know what the hell this is going to be all about but if they already won in their heads this book is only getting better and better so in this hideout and hans is pissed because hans is like look man we had a deal the deal was i was supposed to go to heaven with you and get my antidote now they're bsing me and spawn's like look man i'll honor that but right now things are too risky heaven knows we're here they'll be hunting for us and us getting back to any dead zones will be a struggle right now so we have to wait here and try again later when things calm down and hans like, i don't have that kind of freaking time my body's shutting down and the thing is you're gonna get what you want and just the hell with me man that's not how it works bro so Hunt's body suddenly convulses as they check in on Hunt to see what's going on. This voice off panel is like, I can't tell you how long I've been waiting for this day. 
Now tell me, which of you is responsible for trapping me in this cesspool? I don't know what the heck that point of the drone is. I wonder if the point of that drone in the beginning of this issue. I read some spawn, but I don't know who that is. If you guys know who this character is at the end of this video, comment below, let me know. But with all that being said, link in description if you wish to add this comic book or other comic books or some of our rated comics exclusives to your comic book collection. Support the art, support the industry. Lastly, this review is sponsored by Coffee. So if you'd like to buy your boy a cup of coffee, link in description or donate to the Super Thanks. But the greatest compliment you guys can do is by liking this video and subscribing to Rated Comics YouTube channel. Thank you again for watching. Until next time.